PKC Theta was discovered in 1993 as a new member of the novel PKC subfamily. The first figure shows the structure of PKC Theta that includes a regulatory and a catalytic domain, which are further divided into four conserved and five variable regions. Representative PKC theta binding molecules are shown above the enzyme, and arrows point to specific domains that mediate the interaction. The conversion of PKC theta to an active enzyme involves several steps of phosphorylation on residues that are indicated below. Kinases that are known to phosphorylate specific residues on PKC theta are also indicated by purple boxes. The second figure shows some of the proteins that are involved in the very early phase of T-cell activation. This step is initiated by T-cell interaction via the antigen receptor, or the TCR, with cognate peptide MHC complexes on the surface of antigen-presenting cells. As a result, both cell types respond by redistribution of the receptors and ligands to the contact area that rearranges as a platform for effective signaling. This T-cell antigen-presenting cell contact area, termed immunological synapse, is formed by specific protein microclustering and a segregation into one of two separate regions, a central core termed central supramolecular activation cluster, or CISMA, which contains the TCR and co-stimulatory receptors, and a peripheral SMAC, which contains adhesion molecules such as LFA1. T-cell antigen receptor engagement triggers signaling cascades that result in the recruitment of multiple effector molecules to the immune synapse, including PKC theta, which localizes to the CISMAC. More recent high-resolution imaging analysis by TF microscopy demonstrated that PKC theta co-localizes with CD28 and demonstrated that the central SMAC is divided into two structural and functional esteem compartments. A central TCR-rich compartment where signaling is terminated and TCR-associated signaling complexes are internalized and degraded, and an outer TCR-low ring where PKC theta and CD28 co-localize. Figure 3 summarizes some of the findings explaining the mechanism by which PKC theta recruits to the CISMAC. Thus, TCR-CD28 engagement triggers the activation of tyrosine kinases and phosphorylation of multiple substrates, including the cytoplasmic tail of CD28. Phosphorylation of a tyrosine within the sequence motif, which is highlighted in yellow, forms a high-affinity binding site for the SH2 domain of the LCK protein tyrosine kinase. Simultaneous activation of phospholipase C gamma-1 results in the formation of diacetylglycerol, which enables PKC theta anchoring to the plasma membrane. Co-localization of PKC theta and CD28 is regulated by an interaction between the PKC theta proline-rich motif and the LCK SH3 domain, which results in the formation of a trimolecular complex comprising CD28, LCK, and PKC theta. The next figure demonstrates how PKC theta regulates IL-2 gene transcription and actin polymerization. Thus, PKC theta mediated phosphorylation of the scaffold protein, Karma-1, promotes its interaction with BCL10 and MALT1 Form a forming a trimolecular complex that activates the I-kappa B kinases. IKK, in turn, phosphorylates I-kappa B, which undergoes degradation, while the free NF-kappa B translocates to the nucleus and binds specific targets on the IL-2 gene promoter. Phosphorylation and activation of JNK leads to phosphorylation of c June, which dimerizes with newly synthesized C-FOS, to form an active AP1 transcription factor, which enters the nucleus and targets AP1 binding sites. In addition, PKC theta mediated phosphorylation and activation of SPAC increases AP1 activity via an unknown mechanism. PKC theta also phosphorylates the CREB transcription factor and promotes its binding to a CREB specific site in the IL2 gene promoter. Finally, WIP phosphorylation by PKC theta disengages WASP, which can then interact with and activate the ARP23 complex that regulate actin polymerization, leading to reorganization of the cytoskeleton.